You've seen it before. You step outside at night, look up at the horizon, and bam, the moon looks massive, like someone zoomed in on it just for you. But a few hours later, you glance up again, and it looks tiny. Wait, what? Did the moon just shrink? Is it playing high dance seek with physics? Here's the twist. The moon never actually changes size. It's all a trick your brain is playing on you. Yep, this is the famous moon illusion. When the moon is near the horizon, your brain compares it to objects you already know. Trees, houses, mountains, buildings. Your brain says, hum, the moon is next to that tiny tree, so it must be huge. But when it's high up in the sky, there's nothing to compare it to. No trees, no buildings, no frame of reference. So your brain goes, oh, never mind, it's smaller now. Basically, your brain is a bad photographer. It can't judge distance in an empty sky. But here's another fun twist. Your eyes and your brain actually disagree. If you take a picture of the moon when it looks giant near the horizon, the photo shows it's the same size as when it's high up. Your eyes tell you one thing. Your camera says, now nah, bro, same moon. So what's really going on? It's all about perception. Your brain expects far away things near the horizon to look smaller. So when something like the moon doesn't follow that rule, your mind overcompensates and says, whoa, it must be way bigger than I thought. It's an optical illusion baked right into your brain software. And if you ever want to prove it for yourself, try this little experiment. Next time the moon looks huge, hold up your thumb and cover it. Then, a few hours later, when the moon's high up, cover it again. Guess what? Same exact size. Your thumb doesn't lie. Your brain does. So the next time you're staring at that giant glowing moon on the horizon, remember, it's not the moon getting bigger. It's your mind getting tricked. Still beautiful though, right? If you love learning the science behind everyday mysteries, smash that subscribe button, drop a comment, and join the Zadzimas crew, because we've still got a whole universe of weird and wonderful questions to explore, and we're just getting started.